Spirit Unified, we like to bring you the hard-hitting news stories. And that's why today we're going to be reviewing different types of chocolate spread. First up, we're trying M&S Salted Caramel Chocolate Spread. Now, Al, you know how much I like salted caramel. Cut him open and you bleed salted caramel. Yes, I do. Let's so crack it open. Let's crack open and let's spread it on some oh, toast. Oh yeah, let's do a smell test first. Oh my god. Okay. No, I'm not even joking, that's so nice. Okay, it's first impression is, rock it's rock solid. <laughs> this is not going to spread very easily. Let's uh, put that on some toast and see how it spreads. Oh, it does spread okay, actually. Once it's on, oh. it really does spread okay. Cut that in half, mate. I'm buzzing. There we are. Cut it in triangles, because triangles taste better. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, my God. That is an absolute delight. That's not even funny. That's really nice. It tastes like the inside of a Cadbury's Dairy Milk Bar. But salted caramel. It's no, nice salt salt. Caramel's in. It help. is. I thought this was going to be really sickly. It's not. I was worried about it being sickly and being too chocolatey. Because it says salted caramel chocolate spread. I don't think it's chocolatey. It doesn't taste very chocolatey. So, Al, my good friend. What do you give out of 10? You know how much I love salted caramel. And it's hard to judge when we haven't tried any of the others. So, on that basis, I'm going to go for an 8.5. I'm going to go for an 8. You're going for an 8, okay, that's fair enough. We shouldn't have eaten that whole slice of toast either. No, we should We're not. We're going to be so full up We're by the end fat. of this. <laughs> Quick cleanse of the old palate. Next is M&M's with crispy pieces. This is my favourite. Just thought about you. <laughs> not very nice. <laughs> oh, it's a bit lumpy. Oh, the last one was very smooth. How I feel about that. This one. I mean, it's a crispy lumps, piece, so but it, yeah, what you that's true. That's true. Okay. Would it be softer than the last one? I doubt it. It's got Ooh. crispy pieces. No, but it comes out softer. Oh, it looks thick. Oh my god. Oh my god. This looks really nice. This does look really this nice. This does look really nice. It's like it's got popping candy in it. Triangles. Triangles. Always got to be a triangle. Give me the big slice, Abby. Just keep watching Cheers. my figure. <laughs> I think I'm really going to like all of these. It's a lot thicker. It's a lot chocolatier. I don't think I could eat two slices of this. No. The other one I could eat more of. This one's really, really sweet. Could you imagine eating this for breakfast, though? No. Could you? No. No. I don't know. It is nice, but... I can't, I'm not going to finish it. Let's just say that. Yeah. Well, mm. the crunchy pieces add something, but for me... I give it a five, because it is nice, but I wouldn't eat it again. I don't yeah. know. I don't think I'd eat that again. I'll go for... A... It's a bit of a novelty. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, novelty. It'd be like a good stocking filler. Five out of ten for me. Five out of ten. Yeah, I agree. Well. Mm. There we go. Bish bash bosh. Bish bash bosh. Next up, we're moving on to Cadbury, and we have a Cadbury crunchy spread, which, similar to the M&M one, has crunchy bits in it. No. So, I'll let you do the stabbing on this. Thank you. As you'd like to stab. Oh my god. That sounded so nice. Smell. Oh. It smells like crunchy. It smells like... It smells a bit like burn. Do you know what I mean by that? Yeah, I know what you mean. You can spread. I like oh, it's, it's nice and soft. It is. She's put, she's put a lot on there. That is a lot. She's put a lot on there. My bird. Cut me open, this is what I bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Triangles. I'm looking forward to this one. It doesn't look like it has pieces in it though, does it? It... Can you know what I mean? Can you see, like, there is a little bit... The M&M bit, one had, like, like clear, big chunks. clear chunks in. This, this one's got, like, little shards. But honeycomb. Shards of, shards of honeycomb. Imagine this on a pancake. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Maybe not toast. Or maybe on top of, like, a cupcake. I wouldn't eat this for breakfast. It doesn't really taste that much like a crunchy to me. Is it not? Not really, no. 
I'm not really getting that much honeycomb. Yeah. Oh, the honeycomb aromas. The honeycomb aromas aren't flat. <laughs> uh, I feel like we're a master chef. We're judging. We are. Oh yeah. I don't know. It does taste a bit like burnt, and I don't know why. I'm not a fan, but I prefer the Cadbury chocolate flavour to the M and M chocolate flavour. You think? Yeah. I prefer the M and M ones to this. Really? Mm. I think this is nicer chocolate, but. It's not very crunchy. You give it a six. Give it more than mm -hmm. yeah. I'd give this like a three or four. Really? Yeah. I prefer this to Three point five, I think. No, I don't prefer this one. There we go. Our first, our first disagreement. Mm -hmm. Have a look. Oh, yeah. Very hot. Anyway, um <laughs> 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 Next up, <laughs> we're trying the one that I'm most looking forward to, which is the m and Milk and Cookies Chocolate Spread. As you can see, this looks unreal. It's a bit different from the other ones because it's half and half. I'll still let you do the stabbing on us, but I want to spread it. Okay. I don't want to mix. Ooh. I don't want to mix the. Um... No. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. It's more cookie. From first impressions, it's more cookie than chocolate on the top. If I can actually get it off. So, as you can see, it does smell like, like an Oreo. It smells better than an Oreo. It smells like, you know the Oreos that are covered in white chocolate? Yeah. But the bougie Oreos. I'm going to try and get half and half. Okay. And then spread it like that. It is like, it is more cookie than chocolate though. Oh my We're going to have to cut god. this one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Want to cut it this way? That ain't even funny, that looks so good. Cheers. I hope this is my favourite. The toast is burnt. <laughs> it's ruined it. I feel like we need more on it. Yeah. Well, I can taste. Let me get rid of the burnt bit of the toast. There you go. Can I? Oh, do you want more? Just spread it properly. I'm sorry, I was going to eat like that. It tastes like the inside of an Oreo on toast, with little Oreo bits in it. It does. I think you need your toast to be like really underdone though. I like that a lot. Because I can taste, I can just taste, I can sort of just taste burnt toast. Yeah. And it's not even that burnt. I really like it. But I don't think I like it as much as the salty caramel one. No. 7 out of 10. I give it a 6. Mm. It's really nice, but... It's not like as flavoursome as I like Don't burn your toast, kids. Don't burn your toast. Breakfast ruined. No. <laughs> Macau. Actually, cows don't drink their own milk. That's like me drinking my own wheat. No, they would drink their own milk. That's why cows lactate, to feed the young. Would you drink your own milk? No, but my baby would. Oh yeah, so you're calling me a cow baby. Why is the toast still doing that? Oh, it does look a bit bad. Anyway, our kitchen's on fire, but next up, we're doing the Maltesers. That's a later ass problem. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, a fire alarm problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's our... really not ideal. <laughs> it's still burning in there, but the smoke alarm's going off soon. But anyway, <laughs> it's our third one in a row that has bits in it, and as you can see, it has Maltesers pieces in it, which. This will be my fave. I said that about the M&M one, though. Oh. It... <laughs> you trying to prove something then? <laughs> no. <laughs> that smells really, really nice. Joking. Show the camera as well what's inside. Okay, sorry. Look at that. I love more teasers. You know, you know the more teasers bars as well? The teasers bars. Mm. That's so nice. Or the truffles. Oh my god. It just, it, it, it sounded nice. Yeah, as, as wait. Our, ready? Do you want some ASMR? Oh, that sounds really yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. And, it's, and it's got proper bits in it. You can see the bits. They look like Maltesers bits. I'm going to stop saying the bits now. <laughs> Let's get your bits out. <laughs> get your bits out. Thank you. Cheers. <clears throat> Cheers. Mmm. I like that. 
That's the best one. Oh. What? Apologies. <laughs> Apologies to the floor cleaner. <laughs> Jules. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that on a dessert or like a cupcake. Pancake. 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 Mm. I like that a lot. 10 out of 10. I'm going to say 9.5 out of 10. If you like Maltesers, then this is your shit. Like, I love the crispy M&Ms. This was not my shit. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. That was not my jam. If you like Maltesers in any form, you will absolutely love this. Yeah, that was... But if you don't, what's wrong with you? And you could eat that with like a spoon. With your finger. Thing. You've just contaminated the whole thing. Yes, I have. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, someone's crying. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> I am so excited to never eat chocolate scrubs. <laughs> I'm so sick. We've got one left. Classic. Joe, you know we didn't go for Nutella because I feel like everyone's tried Nutella. Everyone knows Nutella. And also, there's that Lotus one as well, but it's not chocolate, the Biscoff one. It's yeah. just biscuit, whereas these are all chocolate based. They want to be chocolate spreads. But we, we finished on the classic. Classic. Um, which is the Cadbury's one. I think. Is the toast down? The toast is down. The fire alarm has not gone off. I don't think the toast is down. Are you joking? Anyway, I will put some toast down. Straight now. to an ad break. We'll see you in two. <laughs> Last but not least, we're going for the classic Cadbury's milk chocolate spread. The, the toast. Was on? The toast was down. We've, we've done the toast the properly. The toast is actually <clears throat> done now. So, let's take this off. I and know what this tastes like. This is my I know what it tastes like, what it smells like. This is my like. jam. No, it's, it's not jam, it's chocolate spread. <laughs> anyway, um, do you want to give it a smell? It smells this like... is like the most potent one. Yeah. It's the best one. I know in my heart. It's, it's very, so very soft. No bits. No bits. No messing about. It's just Cadbury's Absolute smooth goodness. chocolate. Mm -mm -mm. One of your five a day, I heard. Oh yeah, cocoa beans. Yep. Get rid of that. Oh my god, don't get rid of that. <laughs> you can lick that off if you want. Scoop that right up. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of dipping. Oh, we didn't cheese. Sorry. That cow. <laughs> 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 this is the best one. 11 out of 10. Really? Mm hmm. You can't say it's not. This is on par with sort of coming on with me. 8.5 out of 10. Do you think? What was your favourite then? Maltesers. Maltesers. The bits did something for me. It did bits. The bits did bits. Um, you like bits in your mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> so we have a disagreement? Yep. I can't eat. This is literally like our tenth slice of bread, by the way. <laughs> I'm so full of. What's the disagreement? That I think this is the best one. You really? want Maltese one. In order of ranking, I would go number one, the Maltesers. Joint number two, salted caramel and Cadbury's. Three, chocolate cookies. Four, crunchy spread. Five, M&M's. You? I'm gonna go number one, number two, three, yep. four, five, really? six, One more hundred percent. Wow. It's a bit different. That just was not my bottom. It just tastes like burnt to me and I love honeycomb. There we are. I'm really disappointed in this. Cadbury's. So I'm overall, angry. which ones would you eat again? And what would you eat them on? Because I think on pancakes, I could eat all I of them. I think I'd eat all of them. I of like I like eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? All of them. I would eat all of them again on a pancake. I would only eat these two again on toast. Not that. And that, sorry, yeah, those three. These three. These three on toast. What, not this? I don't think so, no. This was a bit disappointing. Yeah, the, the look of it is better than the taste. It's not, it doesn't even smell, it doesn't even smell that good. I might do that song. It's just not tasty enough. Do you know? Mm hmm I agree. It doesn't taste as much as cookies and cream as I thought it would. All right, we're pretty boring people now. So yep. all we're going to say is, we'll peace now. go to m and buy some sorted caramel chocolate spread, and buy some Maltesers. Where did we get that? We've got that in Morrison's, I think. For did two we? pounds. Yeah. Or was it not Asda? No, the Asda. That was Morrison's. Sport. This yeah. was in Morrison's and it was two pounds. 
this was a, this was two pound. Yeah, this was two pound fifty, but worth every penny. Yeah. And finally, this is a little one, which was a pound. I think these were two pound fifty as well. They were, yeah. Each. Not worth it. Yeah, in my opinion. When that's two pound fifty, those yeah, two they can just ain't worth it. We'll put them straight in the in back the, of the cupboard yeah. and maybe come out on a rainy day. Yes. Right. Gosh, cheers. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for joining us on another video, and we'll be back next time where we'll be reviewing something else. That's hard hitting journalism.